come cook dinner with me. Um, my parents left, so now after three months, almost three months, I have to cook dinner again. Um, so I didn't really have much prep for tonight, so I thought I would show you guys how easy it is to just pull out a couple ingredients and really have dinner at home. With all the prices increases, gas prices, um, I saw even DoorDash just up their prices too, right? We're all trying to save a little bit of extra money. And one of the best ways to save money is to just eat at home, okay? Uh, and to make homemade things at home so you're not buying all this prepackaged stuff that a lot of times en ends up costing more. Don't you guys agree? So if you are um, thinking of different ways to save money right now and you're looking for some quick, easy meals, um, definitely comment, save money below because I got some other things up my sleeve working on helping everyone save some money by eating at home, okay? So anyway, so if you're popping in live, comment live. If you're watching the replay later, comment replay. Come cook with me. This is a super simple dinner. I'm really trying to lose the probably five pounds I gained while my parents are here. Were here. Um, so we're gonna go very basic with some chicken and vegetables that you know fits your needs and then your kids as well, right? So anyway, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to, um, you guys can just come hang out with me, but we're going to use our grill pan and press to cook a chicken. I mean, as a Pamper Chef consultant, I probably have 10 different ways to cook chicken, okay? Um, but this is probably still one of my favorites is the old school um, grill pan and press. So we're gonna use that for our chicken, but we're gonna do that last because the chicken cooks so fast. Um, and then we're also gonna make some roasted potatoes and zucchini. I'm gonna experiment and try if I can cook both at the same time in our air fryer and put it in our air fryer. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna cook up the chicken and literally you got a protein, you got carbs and you got vegetables all in probably, I would say less than $10 for a meal for a family of four, okay? So if you are looking to eat at home more and save some money, definitely come and save money because um, that is kind of what I love to do. I love to show people how easy it is to cook meals at home and how cheap it can be as well, okay? Nothing fancy needed just to cook dinner at home all right so just come hang out with me comment below as you're popping in hi Brittany. hi Teresa. thanks for popping in and let's just go and get this party started so of course um i'm gonna use our rotisserie basket in the air fryer okay so i'm gonna fill all my goodies in here and i'm gonna show you a little trick that maybe some people uh don't know but any questions anything you want to chit chat about okay just comment and pop in um hi Cena. so just pop in and ask away so we're going to use our i'm using the serrated veggie peeler i actually don't know if this is still available but it is in the outlet so if you outlet so if you want to check the link in my bio last time it was still in the outlet i don't remember if it still is okay so there's no reason to even buy frozen potatoes you can get a bag of potatoes really cheap and you can use that all week long for your family okay so if you're popping in and saving money is on your brain today comment saving money below because i've got some ideas for you as far as it um you know as far as it goes to cooking at home so anyways this is our serrated peeler it is super fat powerful i like to call it the power peeler actually because it will literally peel your fingers if you're not careful and you can use this on peaches and stuff like that. And see how it's got like this brown spot? It actually has like a little thingamajigger, right? It has a little thing up here so you can pull out the brown spots um, in your potatoes. Actually, this side. I had the wrong. No, it doesn't matter. And then you can just pull out those. There's a name for these, right? What is it called? The brown spots? I know there's a name for these. Help, help the European out. Is it the root? <laughs> what is it? What's the brown spot in the potato that you can pick up? Oh, is it the eye? It's the eye. Isn't it the eye of the potato? Yes. Thank you, Brandy. <laughs> I knew it was going to come to me. The eye of the potato. Yes. You can just pull this out. But I'm going to show you um, one of the tools I'm going to use for these potatoes. So like I said, no fancy dinner here today. Just something quick and easy. Because a lot of times we're stretched for time, right? Don't you guys agree? And i got to slowly ease myself into cooking since my parents cooked for like Three, three months so um all right they actually should be getting to the airport right now so um hopefully they'll call soon and tell me that they're native all right so maybe maybe one more potato so what's your favorite way of eating potatoes what's your favorite way how do you like your potatoes mashed french fries 
baked potato. What's happening today, people? You guys are quiet. <laughs> All right, Tammy said I too. Okay. Yep, it's the I live. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for popping in. How's everyone's Monday so far? So there you go. See, you got that I, and you can just pop it in here, and then it just pulls it right out of you. So no reason to dirty anything else. Like you can just kind of dig a hole with your peeler. Make sense? Yes, yes? Okay, all of the ways. <laughs> all the ways, I know, who doesn't like potato. Okay, but I'm gonna show you one thing uh, because I love potato wedges. Wedges, it's a very hard word for European wedges, okay? Um, and I like to use the apple core and wedge my potato that way. Ta-da, see that? Do you guys love it? Oh, I need a bowl, I need a bowl. I need a bowl. Let's see. I also haven't done much in my kitchen in three months, so I'm sure I'm gonna find things and not know where they are. So here we go. You can use your apple wedger. We're still gonna use the core because we still need the core. Um, and then you just wanna pull and everything comes in here. So you get these perfect, is that cool? Do you guys like that tip? You get these perfect potato wedges, okay? So we're just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do the same with the zucchini. Or maybe I'll just, I don't know. We're winging this, so <laughs> we'll see what we do. So just come hang out with me. Uh, isn't that clever? Yay. Eine super Idee. Danke, Sina. Uh, got some Germans up in this house. Just the only thing, don't put your hands underneath of this. Although, and don't like pull from the bottom because it's really sharp. Even if you're doing an apple, always pull from the top, okay? So we got some of that, and then we're gonna add some zucchini, and I'm gonna experiment, experiment, and try and cook this all together in the rotisserie thingy. I don't know if I can, let's try, let's see what happens here. So I used to do this on a cucumber, so now you can use the apple wedger and have these wedges of zucchini. Huh, look, I didn't even have this plan today. Pretty cool, right? So you get these sticks, you can use the apple wedger on, and then you don't have the seeds because you don't have, then you don't have all that liquid. And then you can use this apple wedger for pears. You can use it for cucumbers. All right, let's see how much this does. Oops. And then go ahead. So for this, I decided I was going to make the scampi chicken, but I might save that for another day. That's another new product that we just released. It's a meal mix, so I might save that for another day. I really like rosemary on my potatoes. Anybody love rosemary? Rosemary and potatoes go really well together. Don't you guys agree? Don't you guys agree? Rosemary and potato? So good. And this smells really good. So we're going to do rosemary potato. And you do want a little bit of olive oil. Oh, let me go get the new olive thingy. Hold on. So this was sitting on the table because when you have Italians in your house, there's always olive oil to tap. So this is our no, new oil diffuser, oil, whatever the name is. So you can actually measure out, look, one teaspoon so I can make sure I'm not using too much oil and then cover it in here. Do, 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 do. And now mix it all up with some tongies. Let me go find some. All right, and then we're just gonna put this in the air fryer. And then like my kids won't eat the zucchini, oops, but they'll eat the potatoes. Oh, I need some salt too. So my goal is to teach everyone how easy cooking is. I know a lot of you guys were following my parents and their Italian cooking, and it's like some of the simplest things, okay, to cook Italian food, but I guess that, um, I don't know, I guess, let me ask you, what's your cooking skill? Are you like a basic person? Like you're still learning some skills? Are you pretty elevated when it comes to cooking? Or could you use some help? If you could use some help with cooking and easy dinner, cheap meals for you and your family, comment below, I'm always, I'm always here to help, all right? So we're gonna put this in our rotisserie basket. I'm gonna actually do, I'm like debating if I should do one more zucchini. I'm gonna do one more zucchini because that's the other thing you can do. 
is you can cook a lot more than your family needs and then have it for lunch tomorrow or even have it for dinner, right? Or some of you guys, who's an empty nester? Or who has, you know, a family of two? Or who is single, right? A lot of times you're like, it's not worth it to cook or maybe you're retired, but you could do this, cook once, eat twice, right? So you could always cook an extra chicken breast, an extra vegetable, so you have some for the next day. Okay, a little bit more olive oil just to mix all this up. Rosemary herb. Did you guys tell me if you love rosemary? Let's see. Uh, hi, hi. Okay, okay. No questions. Healthy, cheap dinner it is. That's right. Healthy and cheap. Doesn't have to be complicated. Mix, 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 mix. So we'll see how this goes. I've never cooked zucchini and potatoes in the air fryer together but what i what i love about the rotisserie basket is it's going to rotate it's going to rotate in here so everything gets like this nice crunch and it's not deep fried okay so we're going to put this in here um what am i doing oh so this little thing comes with the rotisserie basket so you're basically just going to use this to lift and then get it inside your air fryer. Okay, so we gotta get the trays out. Trays are not needed. Can you guys see that? Yes, 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 yes. I'm um, doing sweet potatoes tonight in my air fry basket. Yay, awesome. Yes, yes, air fryer potatoes are the best. Love rosemary. Awesome. Hi, Jane. Hey, thanks for popping in, guys. All right, so like I said, we have zucchini and potatoes in here, and the basket is pretty full, but everything's gonna kind of dry up anyway. So then you just put your basket in, make sure it's in. Here's the trick, if you have an air fryer, you wanna make sure it's pushed all the way to one side because this over here has the gear that makes it spin. And then the other trick is if it doesn't go up like this, make sure the light's on. Yep, can you guys see that? If it doesn't go up, that means the basket is in right. If it starts spinning, that means you didn't put it in right, okay? So I cook everything on air fry, I hit rotate, and I do like, sure, 25 minutes. No, it might be a little much. All right, air fry, rotate. Nah, nah, what's the 60? I don't know. <laughs> We're just going to see how it looks. That's how I cook. All right, guys? Um, I'm a decent cook, I guess. Awesome, April. Another great tip. Yay, look, you guys are learning so much. So let's get this grill pan preheated. Okay, so what you want to do is just preheat your grill pan on medium high. Because if you, anybody struggle, like uh, I don't necessarily love chicken. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat it, right? But it's definitely like if I had a choice, I'd rather have a steak. But you know, when you're trying to eat healthy and lose some weight, then get your chicken and all stuff. So, uh, you know, I try to make my chicken as good as I can if I'm gonna have to eat it a lot, okay? So, if you struggle with cooking chicken, comment below if your chicken is too dry, if it's burned on the outside but not cooked on the inside. Um, like if you're just like, mm, I've, I have good chicken at a restaurant but at home I can't do it, I want you to pay attention now, okay? Um, so by using the grill pan, you can do this with the deluxe grill and griddle too, but there's something about gas heat. Okay, I do have a gas stove, so there's something about that heat, I don't know. So anyway, so this is the grill pan, okay? It's our same non-stick cookware that we have. And then this is the press. So this is really heavy, okay? So if I let this drop, this is really heavy. Ready? This is heavy cast iron piece. It's like a coated, I don't know. I think it's a coated cast iron. So the handle will not get hot. So you put this piece on your grill pan and you just let this preheat for a couple minutes. And by doing that, the top and the bottom is gonna have, both have heat. So when you put your chicken on this, it the chicken gets the heat from both sides. So basically your chicken kind of goes like, it inhales all the juices and it just keeps them in there. And then when you take it out and you let your chicken rest for a couple minutes, all the juices go back right into your chicken. And that's how you get a non overcooked, moist, chicken breast okay um and of course lots and lots of seasoning is needed as well so if you guys are just popping in common life we're just making a super quick easy healthy cheap meal because that's what people need right now 
cheap meals. Don't you guys agree? Right? If you could make something like this and not eat out, you probably saved yourself $100 to $150 for family four instead of eating out. So um, let's get our chicken over here and get that prepped while our grill pan and press is preheating. Okay, so I'm going to put gloves on. Uh, so let me know. Do you love chicken? Hate chicken? You'll eat it because it's healthy? Where? What is your feeling on chicken? Comment below. Well, I go look for, I found it. I'm going to go look for our close and cut. Like I said, I'm still finding all the things because my parents just left. <laughs> So I have to go find where everything is. Love chicken, April says. I like chicken thighs. Mm, chicken thighs are good too, but it just has to be cooked right. If it's not cooked right, I need it. <laughs> Don't you guys agree? Nancy says she loves chicken. Um, I can keep any kind of chicken. All right, cool. Um, wir essen gerne Hähnchen. <laughs> All right, you guys like chicken, right? All right, so um, first, I like to give it of all the fatty fatty parts and I love our kitchen shears our pick kitchen shears our little carry knives for these come in a set of three they're like eleven dollars just if you don't have those you need to go to link tree in my bio right now and just snag them okay so here we go just I just can't deal with this fat stuff okay so um also if you're buying chicken breast if you buy the frozen like at Costco or even all these the big bag of frozen chicken breast you're gonna save a lot of money too. And if you buy, um, here's another money saving tip. Let me know if you guys are interested in money saving tips when it comes to cooking at home. Comment money saving tips so I know who's interested, okay? Um, if you do that, if you buy the thinly sliced chicken, it costs more per pound than regular chicken breast. So here's a way of you doing this at home. Let me grab my seven inch knife okay so one of the things you can do when your chicken is kind of thick this one's actually not that bad but sometimes some chicken like my parents were here okay so many of you guys know this or not maybe if you're new to the show comment no but my parents live in Italy uh, and when they come here they're like oh my god these chickens are huge right and their chickens are like when you go to Italy the chicken there, the skin is like yellowish, so it actually kind of freaks me out, but it freaks them out that our chicken, that our chicken skin's white, so who knows. But anyways, long story short. So put your chicken thing in here, your chicken breast. You need the closing cut and uh, at least a seven inch knife. So this does come in a set. So if you're interested in anything that I'm using, just comment and I'll send you the link. Or you can just go link to my bio anytime. All right, so you put this in here. This is spring loaded. Yeah, you can use this for your bagels, your grape tomatoes, and then you just put your chicken in here. Oops. And you need to make sure you have a seven inch knife so it goes in from both angles, right? And then look, ta-da, I have these skin, I have these thin chicken breasts. So I'm actually going to put the chicken in here so I can marinate it quickly. So we're gonna keep doing this. So this is a way to stretch your budget too is to buy those big bags of chicken at Costco or at Aldi's and then just slice them thinly yourself all at once one Sunday afternoon put them in your freezer and you're ready to go all right you just got to make sure you have at least a seven inch knife and that's why it comes and that's why it comes in a set I think some of these aren't even that thin, but there you go, right? So we're gonna get rid of all this chicken stuff. All the chicken eat stuff. All right, and then for the chicken, I'm gonna show you the sizzle on the grill pan too, right? Um, I've never been to, all these are Costco. Oh my God, I should like, all these should pay me. How many people I send to all these? Like they should, no, I'm just kidding. I love to teach you guys um, things that you can, save money and try different grocery stores right money saving tips okay cool so same thing right if you a lot of times if you're trying to lose weight too we tend to over use oils and butters right so this is actually really cool instead of dirtying my measuring spoon i can just be like oh one teaspoon which is really cool because i feel like i normally would use a lot more <laughs> so i can just be like oh one teaspoon that doesn't actually that's not too bad and then for the chicken i've decided 
to use the pamper chaff lemon garlic one, okay, because I love lemon garlic. And I think it'll go good with the rosemary. So one of the things, like I said, if the chicken for me personally tastes too, I know I'm weird, tastes too chickeny, I don't like it. So I have to cover it in a ton of seasoning. So I'm gonna use some salt, because chicken's already boring, and we don't need boring chicken, all right? You guys agree? Do we need boring chicken? So the cool thing is, is this will take, look, look how thin these are. This will take like a minute and a half on each side. And if you are worried about it, making sure it's temperature, you can always get our meat thermometer and that way you are now, but it's, I cut it off. Okay, so here's the cool part. Let me make sure you guys can see the grill pan here. You saw enough of my face. So everything is hot now. So we've preheated this. By the way, too, if you have little kids running around, you can just remove the handle, right? So people aren't, you know, touching that or whatever. So you can remove the handle. So the handle here does not get hot, but everything else is hot right now, okay? So we're gonna put a chicken in here. And like I said, we already kind of marinated it real quickly, and this is gonna, listen to the sizzle, gonna cook really fast. gonna give you beautiful grill marks and like I said cook one each wife so if your family doesn't eat all of this my family probably will then you could have some leftovers put this on top did you hear that so now it's cooking from both sides a little baby piece okay so now we're gonna let this cook for a minute and a half, okay? Like I said, handle does not get hot. Don't touch it, don't wiggle it. Just let it do its thing, all right guys? <laughs> Just let it do its thing. All right, any, um, while we wait for this chicken, so I can show you what it looks like. Any questions I can answer tonight? Uh, how does the handle stay cool? I don't know, it just does. I guess the heat doesn't transfer to the handle. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Uh, Brian's watching me and says I gotta have that. Yep, Michelle, you better get on it. Go get him a grill pan and press. Uh, like I said, I love my grill and griddle too, the electric one, but sometimes there's something about piece of cookware. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so if you wanted this and you don't want to pay full price, the cookware has a lifetime warranty and it is the special this month for hosts for 60% off. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I am not doing any Facebook parties. All my parties are on table, which is Pamper Chef's own party platform. I'm teaching people simple recipes right now that they can make at home to make save money and you can invite your friends to it. And then in return, you get this, this or any one item at 60% off and other things. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. It doesn't cost any gas. <laughs> you don't have to drive anywhere. Um, and I think right now people are looking for some solutions to cook at home. All right, guys? All right, let's see our potatoes here, if they're spinning, everything's spinning. So now while this is cooking, you clean up, set the table, dinner's done, right? It doesn't have to take a lot of time. So um, if you guys like these things and you want to come cook with me more often, let me know. I can, sometimes I think it's so simple and I don't know if people are interested in it, but then uh, sometimes I hear that people need some help with that. So. I'm not sure. You guys let me know if that's something you're interested in. If you've watched this long, comment live, okay? I would appreciate that. All right, so let's see. I think we can flip this one, and then I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to set the table. All right, so look at this. Oh, wait. Let me turn you guys. Let me turn you back to this peon. All right, so you can see the grill marks. It does have a lot of juices. So we're gonna cook it a little bit longer on the other side, but you can see right here, right here. That's the other thing my parents were like, oh my God, your chicken has so much water. So I'm sure it's injected with water or something, but you can see, look at that. That's how I like my chicken, nice and crispy, <laughs> okay? Um, so there we go. You can technically turn this pan off at this point and it's just gonna finish cooking. Um, so you can literally turn it off. It's just going to finish cooking. We're going to wait four minutes for that. And the other tip is let you, any types of meat, chicken, steak, of course, you want to just let it rest for five minutes once it's out. 
So all those juices go back into your meat and then cut it. Otherwise, if you cut it too early, all your juices go on your cutting board and then you got dry your chicken. All right, guys. Um, all right, so I'll post a picture of how this turns out with the zucchinis. They're probably just going to be mushy. I don't know. Maybe they'll be crunchy. We'll see what happens. So thanks for popping in. Make sure you leave a comment. If, and if any of these tips were helpful, definitely leave a comment so I know what you guys are interested in. All right, guys. Have a good night. Ciao, ciao.